is going on everyone? Welcome to another very exciting episode right here on the My Gardener channel. We're in the front of the house today planting up dahlias because a lot of you want to know how to grow dahlias. And so in today's episode, this is going to be another complete growing guide on how to grow dahlias. Now, dahlias are, in my opinion, one of the most beautiful flowers that could possibly exist. I know some people like tulips, some people like daffodils, but I love dahlias. It's a beautiful summer flower that is absolutely incredible, huge blossoms. And you know, like I said, in my opinion, is probably one of the prettiest that exists. There's so many different colors, shapes, sizes, different variations. And so uh, dahlias are something that I'm starting to really get into. And so I've got one right here. I'm gonna show you how to grow it. It could not be simpler, so let's go. So we sell dahlia tubers over at mygardener.com and this is how you're gonna receive them. Now, any reputable seller of dahlia tubers should sell them in a really well ventilated either paper bag or uh, mesh bag, burlap bag, so they don't rot. And so when you get them, they're going to look like this. Now, dahlia tubers are crazy. They look kind of like, uh, like a hanging bunch of coconuts. And um, these dahlia tubers here, there are several tubers on this bunch. This was the original plant that it actually grew up and it forms tubers much like potatoes do. So you have several different tubers. Now, you don't wanna break this off. And the reason why is because these tubers have their energy store here and then the neck. If the neck breaks below the eye of the uh, dahlia tuber, it will actually kill it. You can actually see this eye is actually growing right here. And this eye is much like an eye on a potato. However, um, if you have multiple eyes and they're growing, you can cut them off just like you would cut eyes on a potato. But if you don't know where those eyes are going to form, it's best just to plant your, your dahlia plant just like this. And you're gonna have multiple plants that are gonna grow up. There's no ill effects to doing that whatsoever. You're just not gonna risk killing your, uh, your dahlia plant. So how we're gonna get this uh, in the ground is just like this. The whole thing is all going to go in there. We're not gonna do any cutting. We're not gonna do any separating, just like this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna talk about is having the right type of soil. Dahlia tubers do not like to sit in a lot of water. They like to be in really well draining soil. So just like everything else in the garden, we're gonna give them a really well draining potting mix. Now we're gonna be planting them in this front bed right here. So we've already amended it with a good quality potting mix, has good amounts of perlite, good amounts of vermiculite. It's even got a little bit of kind of like forest humus in here. So it's gonna hold on to water well, but not too much water. And then it's gonna be you know well draining and you know, nice and airy for those roots to actually develop and grow. Because what we wanna do is we wanna actually develop these roots so that they form more tubers for us. Because at the end of the season, you can actually, with good tuber development, pull up your plant, just as this one was, clip off the top and store them in damp sand and uh, mixed in with damp uh, sawdust. We have a video on that. We did it, I think about two years ago. And you can actually use your own dahlia tubers as seed stock for future years. And so um, having good root development will only give you more tubers, just as if you were growing potatoes. So we're gonna be growing them in this potting mix right here. And how we're gonna plant them is we're basically gonna take them, not quite that deep. We wanna take them and we're gonna put them in a hole that's about four to five inches deep. So about up to my, up to my top knuckle there, deep. We're gonna take it and we're gonna lay it flat. It's really important that we splay out these tubers as much as possible. We don't want them, you know, if they all hang down, they're all gonna be really clumped on top of each other. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna lay them, take them like this and lay them as flat as possible in the planting hole. Now, if the soil quality is not what it should be, or if you need to amend it, feel free to come in with some fresh compost and just put some compost in the planting hole as well. That's really gonna help to kind of loosen the soil up. You can absolutely add compost. That's not a problem at all. So that's something that we can do just with some nice bagged compost or compost you make yourself, just to kind of amend that planting hole. And then also the, the other important thing is when you're planting your, uh, your dahlia tubers, to make sure that the soil pH is slightly acidic. Uh, dahlia is really like a pH of right around kind of 5.5 to 6, so a little more acidic than your, than your average garden crops, but anywhere kind of in that slightly acidic range will be great. Now, the other thing that we can do with planting these dahlia tubers is we can use some powdered sulfur. Now, just as if we would plant potatoes, powdered sulfur can help to kind of uh, temporarily acidify the soil. It's a soil amendment, so it's going to be something you're going to be doing yearly. And uh, having a nice powdered sulfur in the soil where you're planting your dahlias 
can help actually prevent things like tuber rot and, uh, and other dahlia diseases that can come in just like you would be when you plant potatoes. You don't want those tubers to actually start to rot because that's the energy store for the plants. And so in early season, when it's cold and damp and you get lots of rain, it's sometimes just a good backup method to, uh, to kind of preserving their quality by putting a little bit of powdered sulfur in the soil here. So um, now the last thing you wanna do when we're talking about soil is you wanna make sure that uh, the soil itself is deep. I didn't mention this in the very beginning, but this bed right here is about 14 inches tall. So there's gonna be lots of soil for those roots to move throughout. If you're planting them in a container like a pot, make sure the pot is gonna be at least seven gallons in size. So there's lots of development for that plant to actually grow throughout the season. If you're planting it in the garden, just make sure that your garden beds, if it's a raised bed, make sure you're talking at least probably eight to 10 inches deep. This is gonna be plenty deep. 14 inches is more than enough, but just making sure that those plants are gonna have nice, uh, the nice ability to move throughout the soil so they form good root development and good tuber development. After that, we're basically, since we already planted it in the ground here, we're just gonna cover it up. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cover it up just level with the soil. We have some decorative rocks in here. And uh, this is just kind of like a front little flower bed here. So um, we're just gonna basically cover it up with the original soil level. We don't need to hill it like you'd hill potatoes. We're just gonna basically plant it just as you would, um, you know, just as you would any other um, like flower bulb, right? So just as you would like a, a, a daffodil bulb or a tulip bulb. The only difference is these are tubers, not bulbs. And so having them in the ground, not terribly deep is important, but you do wanna bury them uh, a little bit so that they're covered and they're in darkness. That's gonna help them come out of dormancy and start to grow. And that new little, uh, that new little eye that's forming, you don't want that right on the soil surface because of the fact that that's where the roots are gonna form. And you want the roots to be below soil level so it helps them get established. All right, so the next we're gonna talk about is sunlight and location. They kinda of go hand in hand. Now this location right here in the front flower bed gets in early season, right around five to six hours of sun. As the sun comes up in the morning over the, over the houses there, they're gonna get beautiful morning sun. And then as the sun rises, they're gonna get wonderful afternoon sun. So in the early season, we're talking like five to six hours. In the mid season, when the sun is higher in the sky, it's gonna get something more like eight to nine hours. And that's great for growing dahlias. Dahlias, because of their huge blossoms, need lots of sunlight. Now, if you put them in like three to four hours, the plants are gonna grow, but you're not gonna get any blossoms at all. And that's one big reason why a lot of people think that uh, something's wrong with their dahlias. And you're right, something is wrong with their dahlias. They're not getting enough sunlight. The dahlias are not gonna die, they're just not gonna flower. And so those big blossoms don't just come because of luck, they come because of beautiful sun exposure. So make sure you put your dahlias where they're gonna get lots of full sun. The next thing with location is making sure that there's no overhead obstructions. That's because certain varieties of dahlias can get five to six feet tall. And so if you have something overhead and they you know, run into it, that's really gonna prevent them from actually growing to their full size and their full potential. So I know many people don't have something overhanging there, but just making sure that, you know, like we're planting them underneath an overhang, granted the overhang is like 10 feet tall, well out of the risk of it bumping its head. But obviously I wanna let you know about that because certain, you know, certain varieties are smaller, but not every variety is gonna be small. Do your research and know what you're buying before you buy it, because some varieties are a dwarf size, some varieties only get two to three feet tall, other varieties do get five to six feet tall. So varieties uh, get different heights based on what you're buying. So just know that going into it. And then the final thing with location, kind of comes in with, with watering as well. Make sure you're gonna be in a good location that's not going to flood. Um, obviously we're growing in a raised bed here, um, that's not really gonna flood. But if you're planting them in a low-lying location, they're, they're definitely going to suffer. So pick a location that's not gonna have lots of, lots of water settling near it because you're gonna suffer from tuber rot and the plants are really going to struggle. So uh, that's kind of location. Now I do wanna talk about temperature. I wanna talk about uh, watering because obviously that's the next kind of very important thing is watering. So let's talk about temperature next. All right, so when it comes to temperature, dahlias are very temperature specific. And that's because dahlias are actually tropical. 
And so you cannot grow dahlias if you're anywhere that's gonna be uh, receiving a frost, right? You wanna make sure that you are well out of the threat of frost before you plant your dahlias. Now, we planted our tubers in the ground. That's a little bit different. We can plant those about one week before our last frost date, and that's because um, they're gonna be in the ground, they're gonna be protected from the, uh, the soil above, and we also planted them in kind of a microclimate with the wall here. It's gonna be reflecting some of that sun's heat and keep them a little bit warmer. But you wanna make sure you plant them well out of the threat of frost so that they don't have any frost whatsoever. Otherwise, your dahlias are going to die. All right, and the final thing is watering. Now, because they're tropical, they do like lots of water, but they don't like lots of water to be sitting near the roots. That kind of ties into the soil part that we talked about in the beginning, which is that we're gonna water them frequently, but the water is not gonna be sitting near the roots. If it does, you're gonna suffer things like tuber rot, and you're gonna end up really, end up ultimately killing your, your dahlias. So um, watering frequently is fine, as long as the water drains from the soil. If your soil is a little more heavily compacted, if it's not quite as well draining, dialing back that watering and letting it dry out is critical. Now, dahlias, because they are tropical, they don't mind getting water on a weekly basis, but they prefer deep waterings. And that's because when it rains in the tropics, yes, sometimes in the, in the rainy season, in the monsoon season, it'll rain every single day. However, during the more dry and arid parts of the season, it will do a torrential rain, and then it'll be dry for you know three or four days, and then you get a torrential rain. And that's actually great for dahlias because it encourages good root development, but it also kind of prevents the risk of, of rot. And that's kind of how I like to, to water my dahlias. I will obviously check my soil periodically, make sure that it is actually dry when I water, because if it's not dry, there's no point in watering. There's plenty of water in the soil. But if, you know, if I go to water, I'm gonna wait for it to dry out first, and then I'm going to give a nice torrential deep watering. And that encourages the new root development, that encourages more tuber development, and that gives you better healthier plants in the long run. So um, that is how I choose to water my dahlias. Um, a lot of people will have their dahlias hooked up to drip irrigation. If you're someone that uses drip irrigation, um, just make sure that you do a nice deep drip irrigation. Don't drip irrigate all the time right at the source on a daily basis because that's ultimately going to really discourage good deep root development and good, you know, good plant development. So um, drip irrigation is not bad. It's right at the surface, but you can deep water using surface watering techniques. And so maybe that'd be a, a good video for a, a good future video. So um, if you want to see that, let me know in the comments box down below. But that is everything you need to know about how to grow dahlias. Um, once they start growing, We'll talk about some things like support, obviously. Um, I guess really quick, we can touch on that too. As they grow up, they are gonna need some support. Um, they get really tall and the flowers get really heavy. Consider using either things like bamboo poles or even tomato cages. The little flimsy wire tomato cages that are kind of junk for growing actual tomatoes work great for growing dahlias. And so consider throwing a cage around them of some sort to really help kind of support those blooms because sometimes they can get so heavy that they can snap. And so, uh, you know, supporting them is important. Um, and then I guess too, like I know you guys are probably gonna ask about pests. When it comes to pests, one of the big things that plagues dahlias are aphids. And that's because when the dahlias grow, they grow really fast. And they, when they grow so fast, sometimes they can excrete some, um, some, uh, some sap from where the blossoms come out. And that can attract aphids as well as ants. And so that's usually one of the biggest things that, that you'll encounter with growing dahlias. A simple neem oil spray will help prevent them and kill them, um, or even like a pyrethrum spray can also do that, or an insecticidal soap even is pretty, uh, pretty reliable at controlling aphids. But um, usually that's like mid to late season, you start to encounter things like aphids right when those blossoms are starting to open up. So uh, generally you're not gonna encounter those very much throughout the plant's life. But that's everything you need to know to grow dahlias. <laughs> now that is officially everything you need to grow dahlias. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. If you're interested in checking out dahlias, go head over to mygardener.com. If we have any in stock, it's gonna be by far the best place to go get them. But if not, go get them anywhere you can find them because they're super beautiful. They need to be in your garden, at least a couple, because they are so incredibly gorgeous. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you learned something new. As always, if you did, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you all on the next episode. As always, this is Luke from the MI Gardener channel, reminding you to grow bigger. Take care, guys. Bye.